Rebecca Jarvis family has grown by one more. The ABC Chief Business, Economics and Technology Correspondent, 42, announced on Wednesday's episode of Good Morning America that she and husband Matt Hansen welcomed their second baby together, son Leo. Their baby boy, whom they welcomed via surrogate, joins big sister Isabel Noemi, four and a half. The happy parents shared two exclusive photos of their newborn with people, too, including one snapped as Isabel sweetly kissed her younger brother on the head while her father fed the baby. When I pictured our family, I always thought of my family, the family I grew up with, as one of two kids, Jarvis said on GMA, in a pre tap segment. My younger sister Lauren and I are incredibly close. We're 18 months apart. And so as I thought about my future, our future, I always envisioned that we would have two. That we'd be a family of four. Never miss a story, sign up for People's free daily newsletter to stay up to date on the best of what People has to offer, from juicy celebrity news to compelling human interest stories. Meet Isabel Noemi. New mom Rebecca Jarvis and husband introduced three-week-old newborn daughter. The journalist explained that her journey to pregnancy hadn't been easy, revealing that she'd experienced infertility and undergone several rounds of in vitro fertilization. Two years ago, we had just experienced another miscarriage in the IVF journey, and that catalyzed the search for another route, Hansen said. And so we had attempted to climb that mountain too many times unsuccessfully and determined that together we would try a different path. I had just lost a pregnancy at five months. And we looked at our doctors and said, what do we do? This keeps happening. And there's no telling whether we can be successful, whether I can maintain a successful pregnancy. And our doctor said, surrogacy is your best path forward, Jarvis recalled. That was hard to hear. Though they were apprehensive about beginning the surrogacy journey, Jarvis said she and her husband talked a lot about the process and decided it was something they wanted to do. One of the things that we talked a lot about beforehand was whether or not another person, that could we even ask another person to do something like that, to do that with their body, Jarvis shared. And it was really through the process of talking to a lot of people, and then getting to know our angel, our surrogate, understanding that she considered this one of the greatest things she could do, one of the greatest gifts she could give the world. When we left New York, to witness the birth, I couldn't get over how surreal the whole thing was, she added. That and just feeling so happy, but also how strange it was that we were gonna get on an airplane, fly across the country, and, God willing, come home with a baby boy. The segment included footage of the journalist outside her hotel before she left for the hospital to meet her son. Describing the pain she felt after losing each pregnancy, Jarvis says that she was still holding my breath every single step of the way. So even in the surrogacy, I really did hold my breath for a very long time, she said, tearing up. And I probably in some ways to protect myself and my family didn't want to feel that massive excitement and that massive joy until I really felt that it was truly a sure thing. But when I did allow myself to feel that way, it was truly the best feeling. To be able to look at Matt and say, we are having a baby. We're having another baby. Isabel is going to have a little brother. Our family will be a family of four, Jarvis said. It was truly magical. She also received strong advice to get over some of her fears around surrogacy, Hansen explained. As I was talking with a very good group of friend about our journey, I had mentioned one of the aspects of trepidation my wife had was, I won't be carrying the baby and how will I know I'll have the connection? Someone else will be carrying our baby, I won't have that maternal connection. And one of my very good friends said, you just tell her, now you know how a dad feels, he recalled. And that perspective was very useful to you. What it meant was it doesn't diminish your love for the child. It doesn't diminish your love for the family you're building. It just means you have a different perspective.